The reality is that the pandemic and the war has shown the importance of being online and for those who aren't online, what it actually translates into from an economic and social perspective. And so it is absolutely critical. Um, when you think about uh, what, what took place during the pandemic, for example, when we were forced to work at home and learn at home and, and get access to health care, not being able to do those things places an automatic limit on your ability to be productive and has major ramifications for our society. So I do believe, and many of us believe in this, in this space, that digital access universally is critical for us. Headlines right now, you see things like rising hunger. Obviously, there's a war happening in Ukraine. There are conflicts happening in other places globally. How do you keep people focused on an issue like digital access when it seems like there are so many more immediate needs? Part of these things are taking place online and being able to be informed. And so taking a step back, the pandemic kind of forced us to be indoors and sheltering in and really increase the level of digitization across the country, across the world, really. And so as people had access to that and you're thinking about getting news and dealing with misinformation, a real way to do that is by being online. And so uh, while there are certainly very pressing problems that present themselves today, this is a long-term issue that we have to get our arms around because it's not going away. In fact, there will be more digitization requiring more people to be access, to have access to, to uh, internet as opposed to less. The UN tracks 17 sustainable development goals. They're things like hunger and eradicating poverty and climate change. Almost all of them have experienced setbacks, if not enormous setbacks over the period of the last couple of years. And now, the war is only threatening them further. To what extent has that also impacted digital equity and the spread of digital access and connectivity? And are you concerned about it? Uh, it may be a surprise to you, but I'm not concerned about it. And here's why. I think that even if you take all the challenges that we're facing as a world right now, one thing that these, the ben, or one sort of upside to these challenges and things like the pandemic is that they make the case for the importance of being connected. There is a reason why connectivity and universal access is described by many as, uh, you know, SDG zero. In fact, the thought is, is that everything, if we, were, if we really want to tackle some of these big problems and meet these SDGs in a fundamental way, attacking, getting our arms around digital access for all is a way that we can do it. And so I think I'm, 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 I'm cautiously optimistic that if we can continue to keep the focus on this issue, um, that this will be a way to actually help accelerate progress on those SDGs.